Weaving mills make literally zillions of fabrics in every conceivable pattern and color. Great, but choosing exactly the right one? <laughs> that requires some patience and perseverance. Fabric is made from thousands of braided threads. This mill has 700 bobbins of polyester. Each bobbin contains 250,000 meters of thread. We begin by separating the threads. This warp unit takes the 700 strands and assembles them. Then this comb separates them. Other strands are added, and in total, there will be 7,000 of them well aligned. One fabric is composed of threads braided at 90 degrees. The warp threads are assembled lengthwise, while the weft threads are joined transversely. To prevent the threads from tearing, they pass through a bin of glue. These rollers eliminate the surplus. The glue will be removed with water before dyeing the threads. The glued together threads exit this machine. These large green cylinders are heated and dry the glue on the threads. Knitting will soon begin. The 700 strands are newly separated on this loom roller. Each thread must pass through a blade to produce a specific design. This machine takes the 7,000 strands of thread one by one and they pass through the blade. It's a highly precise operation. The threads pass through a blade and the weaving finally begins. On this jacker-type loom roller, the warp thread is inserted by a jet of air. The weaving machine assembles two loom rollers made of 7,000 strands. The fabric reaches a width of 3.65 meters. The dark threads are inserted into the weave. They insert 600 weft strands per minute. The blades remove the weft strands to insert the warp ones between the two. A comb pushes the weft. The plate of the breakage chain stops the machine should a thread break. This bobbin contains 250,000 meters of thread. That's 250 kilometers. The weft thread is in the insertion nozzle. When a weft is inserted, an air jet nudges it in. The loom roller operates at full tilt. It makes 600 thread intersections a minute. Weaving is now over. We move on to the following steps, washing and dyeing. Washing is done in a soapy solution at 80 degrees in a continuous manner at a speed of 60 meters of fabric a minute. The fabric is rinsed in clear water of about 30 degrees. Now it's on to dyeing. This is done with jets. Up to 12,000 meters of fabric are placed in clean water into which colorants have been added. The solution is heated and the fabric soaks here for about six hours. Then it will be rinsed in lukewarm water. The fabric is placed in a bin. This machine is called an opener. It unfolds and stretches the material before rolling it up on an immense roller. And now the roll is almost full. We now move to thermosetting in a high temperature oven which dries the fabric. The temperature is 200 degrees centigrade at the oven's entrance. The fabric circulates here for 45 seconds. This finished roll weighs 1,500 kilos. The bobbin that we saw at the beginning has produced 25 kilometers of fabric.